my crafty friends another intuitive piece in my scrappy art journal. I'm going to start by adding some collage papers in the background. I have these beautiful collage papers and I'm really loving this rose print and then there's a print with like a clock on it. Well, half a clock. And I wanted to incorporate that. So I'm just going to add some Mod Podge and stick that down. Um, like I normally don't have a plan. I don't have a plan for this one. I'm just going to work intuitively and see what happens. I've enjoyed making these really quick art journal pages lately, just usually using what I find on my desk or just little leftovers from other projects. It's really fun. It's quick, between 20 to 30 minutes for one of the spreads, and it's just really fun just to relax and get the creative juices flowing. If you'd also like to make one of these scrappy art journals, I do have a full tutorial. I'll put the link to that in the description box below. Alternatively, I do also sell them in my Etsy shop ready for you to start creating in and that link will also be in the description box below. These next pieces of collage that I'm using are what I do when I'm creating projects with any kind of ink where I'm doing the smishing technique and there's ink left over on the acrylic block. I just take a piece of paper normally from an old novel or a piece of music paper and I just dab it on the leftover ink. That makes great background or collage pages to use in future you don't waste the ink and you have some great unique pieces for your art journaling i'm now going to add some white gesso to soften all the edges i'm also going to put a little bit of masking tape just for some additional texture i'm just going to cut a piece rip it in half and just add it randomly over the work this creates beautiful texture as when the paint or color gets onto the masking tape it's a totally different surface and creates beautiful dimension. I tend to use gesso a lot and for those of you who are not new to my channel you'll know that I probably say this in all my art journaling videos that when I do this white gesso part where I'm blending in the edges of the collage pieces and softening the overall look this is just to push everything into the background otherwise it just looks like you've got bits of collage stuck down it doesn't make it cohesive I don't think it blends it in and for me I enjoy doing this because everything just softens gets a misty look and one element flows into the other. Once the gesso is nice and dry I'm going to use my distress ink with my blending brush and a stencil and I'm going to create some interest on the page. I'm not going to do the stenciling everywhere I'm just going to do it in areas just here and there more concentrated in some areas and a bit lighter in others but just make it balanced and have fun with it. You can use multiple stencils if you want different designs. I'm just using the one. And I'm going more for the neutral tones. I'm looking more for of a vintage feel. Once I've done all my inking through the stencil, I'm going to splatter some water with a paintbrush just over the pages. This will react with the ink and after about a minute or two, if you put a piece of paper towel or tissue down to pick up the water, it picks up the color too and creates even another layer of dimension. I want to add a little bit more of the blue tone in the form of a splatter. So I'm just going to put my ink pad onto my acrylic block, spray some water to get it liquidy and then use a very small paintbrush and just splatter the color randomly over the pages. This is a great way to add additional color without going over the top. It's quite subtle. I'm going to keep my focal point very, very simple. I'm just going to use one of my little vintage children from the Tim Holtz collection, and I'm going to give her butterfly wings. I decided not to put anything else behind it or add any other kind of elements underneath her. I wanted it more of a flat more plain page and i think i wanted to let the background do the talking without overpowering it within a really intense focal point the only other thing i'm going to add is a little sentiment and once i've stuck it down i'm just going to use a black fine liner pen just to go around it so it stands out a little bit. I don't want it to be obviously the main part of the page, but I want it to stand out a little bit more. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I hope you learned something or maybe were inspired 
to create your own art journal page. I would love if you subscribe to my channel and also click the little bell so you're notified every time I upload new content. Remember, Shanoki Art is the home of the Full Deck Challenge. Thanks again for watching. I will see you again soon. Bye.